Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we, we beseech you, O Lord, Lord your grace into, into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. To the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as ye forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging of the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward. The Lord is set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude 
on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all. In the gospel we share with all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Friday in the 33rd week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, Come let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great, great love is without end. Come, then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord, our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people the flock his shepherds. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord for his great love is without him. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, Come let us give thanks to the Lord for his great love is without him. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let us give thanks to the Lord, for his, for his great love is without end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Please be seated. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, 
who has set the Spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering for me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you, God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace, who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace, who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge, who bear wooden idols, and pray to gods that cannot save. Come, hear, and declare, in council together, who announced this from the beginning, and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all ye ones of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree, and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, Only the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Go within his gates giving thanks, enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book, the first book of Maccabees. Judas and his brothers said, Now that our enemies have been crushed, let us go up to purify the sanctuary and rededicate it. So the whole army assembled and went up 
to Mount Zion. Early in the morning, on the 25th day of ninth month, that is, the month of Chislev, in the year 148, they arose and offered sacrifice according to the law on the new altar of burnt offerings that they had made. On the anniversary of the day on which the Gentiles had defiled it, on that very day it was reconstructed with songs, harps, flutes, and cymbals. All the people prostrated themselves and adored and praised heaven who had given them success. For eight days, they celebrated the dedication of the altar and joyfully offered burnt offerings and sacrifices of deliverance and praise. They ornamented the facade of the temple with gold crowns and shields. They repaired the gates and the priest's chambers and furnished them with doors. There was a great joy among the people now that the disgrace of the Gentiles was removed. Then Judas and his brothers and the entire congregation of Israel decreed that the days of dedication of the altar should be celebrated with joy and gladness on the anniversary every year for eight days from the 25th day of the month of Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. Blessed may be you, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory, for all in heaven and on earth is yours. We praise your name, your glorious name, Almighty God. Yours, O Lord, is sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Reaches and honor are from you. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. You have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. Please stand. My sheep, hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day, he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death. But they could not find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa atin po ibanghelyo, narinig natin na marami ang kumakapit sa salita ni Jesus. Maraming naniwala sa Kanya. Maraming nanampalataya. Ano bang pananampalataya? 
What is faith? Sabi sa Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Yung bang kumbinsadong kumbinsado ka na yung inaasam at pinapangarap at pinapanalangin mo ay matutupad, mangyayari. At may kasiguraduhan na ang isang bagay o pangyayari kahit hindi mo pa nakikita, ay di mo pa, di pa ito nangyayari. Siguradong sigurado ka. Darating ito. Sa Ebanghelyo, bakit napapatanong tayo, bakit maraming kumakapit? Bakit maraming naniwala? Bakit maraming nanampalataya? Sa salita ni Jesus, ano ba mga sinabi ni Jesus? Sa Ebanghelyo, o sa mga Bible passages, na mababasa natin ano bang epekto o produkto ng pananampalataya kapag naniwala tayo ano bang mangyayari sabi sa John chapter 11 verse 40 then Jesus said did I not tell you that if you believe you will see the glory of God kapag naniwala tayo makikita natin ang kaluatian ng Diyos Kapag naniniwala tayo, makikita natin ang kaluwalhatian ng Diyos. Ano, ano pa? Ano pa ba mga produkto ng paniniwala at pananampalataya kay Jesus? Sabi sa Mark chapter 9, verse 23, If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for those who believe. Kapag naniniwala tayo, lahat posible. Lahat kaya natin gawin. Lahat mangyayari. Ano pa? Matthew chapter 21 verse 22. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask in prayer. Lahat ng hinihiling mo sa panalangin, matatanggap mo. If you believe, you will be healed. Sabi sa Luke chapter 8 verse 50. Upon hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Do not be afraid, just believe, and she will be healed. Ang kanyang anak na babae ay gagaling. Manampalataya lang si Jairus. Kaya nga sa Ibangilyo, sa mga passages, sa Gospels, makikita natin, maririnig natin, na may mga kitongin, may mga bulag, may mga pipit bingi, na may mga deformed, na napagaling because of their faith. Your faith has healed you. Your faith has saved you. Kapag naniniwala tayo, mapapagaling ka, maliligtas ka. Pero alam po natin, na yung ibang mga kumapit sa salita ng Diyos, sa salita ni Jesus, na yung ibang naniwala kay Jesus at sumampalataya sa Kanya, na sinalubong siya ng Hosanna sa kaitaasan nang siya'y pumapasok sa Jerusalem, ay siya mga tao na nagsabing, ipako siya sa krus. Ang iba po sa kanila ay sila rin nagsabing, Ipako siya sa krus. Hindi na naniwala. Hindi na nanampalataya. Hindi na kumapit sa salita ng Diyos. Bakit? Bakit po ba mahirap kumapit? Bakit may mga pagkakataon na hindi na tayo naniniwala sa Diyos? Sa kanyang mga salita? Bakit? Siyempre po, sa mga karanasan natin sa buhay. Naniwala tayo minsan sa sarili natin o sa ibang tao. Pero, nabigo tayo. Umiyak tayo. Natalo tayo. Tinalikuran tayo. Trinaydor tayo. Kaya't ang hirap maniwala 
ang hirap man ng palataya sa Diyos. Dahil yun ang nakikita natin. Minsang naranasan natin na hindi mawala sa puso't isipan natin ng pananampalataya ang magtiwala ay hindi ganun kadali. Nakakasakit pala. Ngayon sa panahon ng pandemic, ilang dasal ang binulong ninyo sa Diyos na iniyakan ninyo na hindi natupad. Na ilang may sakit ang pinagdasal ninyo na binawian ng buhay. Ilang mga tao ang minsang nalikuran kayo o ngayon sa halalan. Ang daming magsasabi ng pangako. Pero kinalaunan, ilang kaya sa inyong magsisisi kung bakit sinuportahan niyo itong taong to? Ilang kaya sa inyo ang mawawalan na ng tiwala? Dahil supporter ka nito, nito, siyang tagapagligtas ng bayan, kayang-kaya niya tayong ipagkaisa. Ilan sa atin ang mabibigo? O ilan sa atin yung mga nagbahal na ilang beses na rin nasaktan? Sabi nila na dumadating ang maling tao sa buhay natin para tayo maging malakas o hinda ang sarili natin para sa tamang tao. Pero ilang beses na, Lord, baka pwedeng pag-isahin mo na sila Papuntahin mo na silang lahat yung mga maling tao sa buhay ko nang minsanan. Para isang beses na lang ako masaktan. Para isang beses na lang ako umiyak. Para isang beses na lang ako maniwala. At para isang beses, kagising ko, malakas na ako, handa na ako para sa tamang tao na darating sa buhay ko. Ang hirap maniwala. Ang hirap man ang palataya dahil pakiramdam natin may mga tamang tao sa buhay natin na sila yung tamang tao na darating para tayo sagipin. Yun ang nararanasan natin. Pakiramdam natin. Tama na sila. Marahil yun din ang pakiramdam ng mga tao sa ibang helyo. Sa mga susunod na mga pagbasa, mararap makikita natin, marinig natin. Na yung iba, hindi na naniwala kay Yesus, kahit minsan silang naniwala. May mga iba na pinagaling ni Yesus, pero hindi man lang bumalik sa Kanya para magpasalamat. Ang iba, hindi na kumapit sa Kanyang mga salita. Dahil sa karanasan nila siguro sa buhay, mahirap man ang palataya Mahirap maniwala dahil pakiramdam nila na loko, na bigo, tinalikuran. Pakiramdam nila. At kapag ang ating pananampalataya at paniniwala ay nakabase sa pakiramdam, we all have the reasons not to believe anymore. Pakiramdam ko eh. Kapag ang ating pananampalataya ay nakabase sa ating pakiramdam, tayo na rin mismo magsasabi kay Jesus na ipako siya sa krus. Because feeling natin that God is not true to His words. Lord, bakit? Sinabi mo na kaya mong pagalingin na kaya mong ibigay, na kaya mo ito, maniwala lang ako sa iyo. It is because our faith in Him is based on our feelings. Siguro kaya kayo narito, karamihan sa atin nandito, galing pa sa ibang lugar, nagsusumamo, mahal na Birhen, tulungan mo kami Lugmok na lugmok kami ngayon. Pagkatapos, wala na. Nakalimot na. Alam niyo po, totoo ang lahat. 
ng mga produkto ng ating pananampalataya, the effects of our faith is true. Totoong mapapagaling ka, totoong ibibigay sa iyo. But sometimes, the way we want it to be is not the way God wants it to be. And that's the difficult part. Yung mga gusto natin ay hindi kagustuhan niya. Pero binibigay sa atin. Ika nga, God's plan is not our plan. Sometimes, we just have to deal with it. Kung siguro yung mga tao patuloy na naniwala na nampalataya na kumapit sa kanyang mga salita, sila mismo rin ay makakatanggap na milagro sa buhay. Kasi kapag hindi na sila malungkot, patuloy pa rin silang maniniwala. Kapag nalagpasan na nila yung mga sulirani nila sa buhay, patuloy pa rin silang naniwala. Kasi ganun ang pananampalataya. Faith is believing in God and trusting in His plan even when you don't understand it and even though and even if you can't see it it is applied in our lives faith is about more than just a feeling because faith is about living isa buhay natin ang ating pananampalataya nang sa gayon makita natin kung ano yung kagustuhan ng Diyos para sa atin, nang ating mga hinihiling ang dinadasal sa Kanya, ay sinasagot niya, pero sa paraan niya. At yun ang makikita natin kapag tayo patuloy na kumakapit sa Kanyang mga salita. Kapag sinasabuhay natin ang Kanyang mga sinabi, ang kanyang mga turo. Because faith after all is not based on our feelings. But faith is about living. Patuloy tayong kumapit. Patuloy tayong maniwala. Patuloy tayong manampalataya sa salita ni Jesus. Please stand. The commands of the Lord are clear, but His mercy is great. Let us pray to our Father with trust in His wisdom. For every intention we say, Father, keep us in Your ways. Father, keep us in Your ways. That the Catholic Church may guide her members in the path of righteousness and bring them closer to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, us keep us in your ways. ways. That we may learn to turn away from sin with all our hearts, remaining obedient to God's law. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, us keep us in your ways. ways. That those who do not believe may yet hear the word of God and be brought to eternal salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us, us in your ways. That we may never neglect the sick, the old, the lonely, and all who suffer in our needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us, us in your ways. That the faithful departed may enjoy eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us, us in your ways. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, for our parents, relatives, benefactors, and friends, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep us in your ways. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers in ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep Lord. us in your ways. For our personal intentions. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. And for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us, us in your ways. Heavenly Father, you search the heart of every man, and you know our innermost thoughts. Strengthen our hearts for true worship, and our hands for true willing service to others. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all grace, and for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all grace, and for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through to the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race. So also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all the saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts of pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice, and once were given thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her with the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerard our master of the order, the religious and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, is that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Throw him and wealth him, arend him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. All stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only say the word, word my and my soul, soul shall be healed. Please kneel. We now uh, recite the creed of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner, the owner of everything, who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I have done, and in spite of the infidelities, he knows I will still commit. 
I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me, because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. The Lord has come to His people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of the servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has come to His people and set them free. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for your presence, especially during this celebration. Thank you very much for coming and especially for your active participation and cooperation. would like to thank also our online devotees for sharing with us in this online Mass. Uh, please, let us continue praying for each other. There are still people who are recovering and even suffering from this COVID-19. Wag tayo kumpante dahil tinangka na yung mga ibang protocol sa atin, we will not be uh, affected by it. But let us always keep safe in our daily activities. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. I kindly remember those loved ones of yours who are sick and those people who are asking for our prayers for healing. We will also bless our religious articles. Our hope is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. So we kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they were grateful to bless your holy name in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
for your religious articles in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the own and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.